Hey everyone, we have waited nearly a year since the last collegiate playoff basketball game at Patrick Gym, but the wait is over. Tonight, the Vermont women's hoops team took to the hardwood to host a quarterfinal game. The crowd was loud and excited throughout to cheer on the Catamounts as they face number six UMBC. That's Emma Utterback playing in likely the final home game of her career. The visiting retrievers come in with just six wins in league play. Cats with a good start. They jump out to an 11 to six lead on this shot from Delaney Richardson. That's Vermont's only three of the ball game. Sloppy play in the second bites Vermont as they turn the ball over on six straight possessions leading to a surge from the retrievers. The Cats get back in the groove with that open look from Bella Vito, Vermont up seven. UMBC keeps it close in the third, a good spin from Anna Blunt to find the hoop, but Utterback takes over in the fourth. First, the sweet pass to Anna Olsen, then she forces the steal and takes it all the way to the hoop. The Cats lead 50 to 37. Utterback scores a game high 21 points and the Catamounts are moving on. They beat UMBC 54-41 to head to the semifinals. I felt like our players, for the most part, took away the tendencies that we discussed. And we, what we wanted to give up, I thought we gave them, and they thankfully didn't hurt us on it. And what we didn't want to give up, for the most part, we took away. We all trust her. And so just to give her the ball and say, I'm going to go make a play, that's what she's done for five years for us. Um, and it's so great that she could do that on the way out of Patrick here. Um, so I'm happy for her. I just wanted to stay assertive, stay aggressive, even when they picked up the pressure. Just stayed confident in my ability to handle the ball, and I feel like it was able to kind of keep me calm throughout the rest of the game. I know myself and others, we weren't going to leave Patrick Jim with a loss. It was going to be a win, so I was pretty confident. Up next, the Catamounts head on the road to face UAlbany with a chance to punch their ticket to the America East Championship. That's on Monday night.